How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore Window Tinting and Paint Protection Film, and today we're going to show you how to do a Tesla mirror. I'm going to call it one piece, but we are going to finish it. Stop right about here around the corner. We don't cover the entire mirror. Uh, when you stretch and do the entire mirror, you're really asking a lot of the material as far as stain on the car. Um, as well as you're stretching it really thin and you're going to lose a lot of the protection because the more you stretch it, the less or the thinner the material is. So we're not going to wrap this side. It's not really going to get hit by rocks anyway. And if it wanted coverage, we just put a little piece in there. So we're going to do this whole section and one piece. I'm going to show you how we do it. All right, so we're going to start by tacking this bottom down here. We're going to tack it to the arm sticking out from the car. We're not going to tack it to the actual mirror. I'm going to spray a little uh, of the uh, rubbing alcohol slash water mixture. That gets the film good and tacky. And we're going to squeegee this part out. Now, so this part, it's tacked here. And what we're going to do is make sure that we don't have anything sticking on the mirror first. All right, now we're going to stretch. And what we're going to do when we stretch is we're going to go up this way and then also that direction. And over here, we're going to come back. Same thing. We're going to go this way and this way. So we're going this way and that way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spray a little bit of uh, the rubbing alcohol mixture back in this direction. And you can kind of see it come in and go right in here and that's going to be good enough. I'm going to take a Bondo card push all this down and then I'm going to hold in there and I'm going to release the tension. I'm going to put a little slit right here coming down and we're going to wrap this edge around now. So I'm going to put some rubbing alcohol in there. All right, and this you could just stretch it more up like this. The reason that I like to come this way with it as well is because I want to make sure that on this other side here, 
that I've got a little bit of stretch so I can wrap that material into the mirror so we don't have a line on the top. We like to wrap them in. Let me show you what that looks like. Well, let's get a close up here. There's the mirror and you can see all we've done is just wrap right behind this edge right there. So that's going to protect the mirror from anything coming this direction all the way up. And then we're to the top on the side. So with this edge here, you just want to make sure you don't have any air or water in it and then we're going to wrap it in by giving it some stretch this way you can see here that it basically wants to curl in there anyway and that's what that little bit of extra stretch is for All right, so now we're all recruit, you know, wrap that edge back in there. We're gonna let this dry for a bit, and then we will go ahead and trim everything all the way around. And then for the final step, will be to um, heat set it into place. I used to just put a glove on, get the heat gun, we'll heat all the edges, and give them one push down, and that will set it in and help it not um, pop up later. Let's trim off this excess now.
All right, so all that's left to do on this mirror is heat seal the edges. I've actually got a video coming up on how to do that. It's gonna be coming out shortly. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.